This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the electron configurations of ions. So we'll start by looking at positive ions, which are also known as cations. On the left, we have a sodium atom, which has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. The sodium atom can lose the one electron in the 3s sublevel to form a sodium ion, which we can see on the right. The electron configuration of the ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So there are two important points. The first is that positive ions are formed when atoms lose electrons. And the second is that the electrons are lost from the highest energy sublevel first. So in the case of the sodium atom, the first electron is taken from the 3s sublevel because it has the highest energy. So next we look at some more examples of positive ions. So we've already looked at sodium, which loses its one electron in the 3s sublevel to form a 1 plus ion. By doing so, it gains the electron configuration of a noble gas. Next is magnesium, which has the electron configuration Ne3s2. The magnesium atom can lose these two electrons in the 3s sublevel to form a 2 plus ion. And if we look at the electron configuration, we can see it's the same as that of the sodium ion. And next is aluminium, which has the electron configuration Ne, 3s2, 3p1. The aluminium atom can lose the one electron in the 3p sublevel and the two electrons in the 3s sublevel to form a 3 plus ion. And once again, if we look at the electron configuration of the aluminium ion, we can see it's the same as that for the magnesium ion and the sodium ion. These three ions are isoelectronic, which means they have the same electron configuration. So when aluminium, magnesium and sodium form ions, they achieve the electron configuration of a noble gas, which is neon. The next three examples that we look at are the transition elements, titanium, chromium and nickel. So if we start with titanium, which has the electron configuration AR, 4s2, 3d2. Note that this electron configuration can also be written as AR, 3d2, 4s2. When titanium forms a 2 plus ion, it loses the two electrons in the 4s sublevel first. This is true of all transition elements. So the electron configuration of the titanium 2 plus ion is AR3D2. Our next example is chromium, which is an exception to the Aufbau principle. Its electron configuration is AR4S1,3D5. When chromium forms a 3 plus ion, it first loses the one electron in the 4S sublevel, followed by two electrons in the 3D sublevel. So the electron configuration of the chromium 3 plus ion is AR3D3. And finally, we have nickel, which has the electron configuration AR, 4s2, 3d8. So like all transition elements, when nickel forms a 2 plus ion, it loses the two electrons in the 4s sublevel first. So the electron configuration of the nickel 2 plus ion is AR, 3d8. So the important point here is that when they form ions, transition elements lose their 4s electrons first then followed by the electrons in the 3d sublevel. Next, we'll look at the formation of negative ions or anions. On the left, we have a chlorine atom, which has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. The chlorine atom can gain one electron to form a one negative ion, which we can see on the right. The electron has been added to the 3p sublevel, so the chloride ion has a full outer shell of electrons. Next we look at negative ions. So we'll start with nitrogen, which has the electron configuration He, 2s2, 2p3. The nitrogen atom gains three electrons to form the nitrite ion, which has a three negative charge. The electron configuration is He, 2s2, 2p6. The next example is oxygen, which has the electron configuration 2s2, 2p4. The oxygen atom can gain two electrons to form the oxide ion, which has a two negative charge. 
the two electrons go into the 2p sublevel, which gives it the same electron configuration as the nitride ion. Next is fluorine, which has the electron configuration He2S2-2p5. A fluorine atom can gain one electron to form the fluoride ion, which has a one negative charge. The one electron goes into the 2p sublevel, which gives it the same electron configuration as the oxide ion and the nitride ion, which means that these three ions are isoelectronic. The next three examples are phosphorus, sulfur and chlorine. Phosphorus gains three electrons to form the phosphide ion, which has a three negative charge. Sulfur gains two electrons to form the sulfide ion, which has a two negative charge. And chlorine gains one electron to form the chloride ion, which has a one negative charge. And once again, we can see that these three ions have the same electron configuration. Therefore, they are isoelectronic.